your YouTube fan, what's good? It's your boy Will, back in the building with another video. Yo, today, man, I got an awesome video for you guys to check out. I'm like really hyped. Today, we're gonna be checking out the ODK Height Adjustable Sit Stand Desk. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of putting this thing together. We're gonna also deck it out with some cool little tech items to fit the vibe. I'm gonna show you guys how I would cable manage a sit stand desk this video should be pretty dope packed with a lot of info that hopefully can benefit you guys in some type of way to help your setup or whatever you got going on anyways man we're talking too much enjoy the video let's get it Okay guys, here we go. All good to go. Not too bad. Um, let me flip it over so you can check it out. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. Now for the moment of truth, let's test out the sit stand function. This is the highest setting. And yeah, this is way too high for me. This is the lowest setting. A little bit of information about this desk. This is what you call a pneumatic desk. Instead of using like the normal motorized system and instead of the old fashioned where you have to like, you know, crank it, crank it, crank it to get it up. It actually does like an airlift. It's pretty much similar to like your normal office chair. So you know how like when you sit down and you press the office chair, the chair goes down. And then when you get up off of it, it lifts back up. It is the same exact concept. I wanted to try this one out because number one, this has wheels on it, which means I can pretty much roll it around my studio however I please. Number two, you don't have to plug this in, so you don't have to worry about, you know, if the power goes out or if the motor breaks on your sit stand desk. And this is actually a pretty good budget option. They have these on Amazon for $250. First impressions of this, I really love the uh, texture of this desk. The height adjustability on this desk is from 29.5 inches all the way up to 45.7 inches. Right off the bat of what I like about this type of design of a standing desk is it literally takes me like three seconds for the desk to go up and down versus a motorized desk. By the time you press the button, you can like go make some coffee and like come back. It probably takes like 30 seconds or so, depending on the distance between the travel. And what I did notice so far is that since I have nothing on the desk, like when I press it to lift it up, like this thing just, it just goes up. So I'm assuming once I put stuff on this desk that it won't go up as fast. We'll see how it goes once we put the stuff on there. But yeah, man, let's get it. Before anything was on top of the desk, when I pressed the button to height adjust, it just flew up. And now when I press it, it's, it's not even moving. That means I gotta like, lift it a little bit let's talk about the cable management portion now so if you don't know now you know j channel raceway still one of my uh favorite little cable management devices so we're gonna slap this on the back velcro ties if you use it you could just use it over and over and over and over so this particular uh smart power strip is from a company called genie you essentially have four different smart plugs that you can control independently this is basically like a channel spine this part you can drill it under your desk if you want if this was too long you could reduce it by taking pieces away i haven't seen people really use these and i think that this is the perfect solution because obviously you know when you go up and down the wire is going to be adjusted i finally finished cable managing this desk and I really wanted to avoid this cable box. So since this extension cord was so freaking long, the only way to make it look clean, I had to like roll up excess extension cable inside of this box. 
the J channel raceway is right here and I have a few cables in there. Then the main power cable goes all the way down this spine and goes into the box and then into the wall. Right now we are looking directly under the desk and I can see like a little bit of cables, but like we are literally like under, under the desk. So after spending some time with the pneumatic sit stand desk, I came to a conclusion that I wanted to share with you guys. I forgot to mention some information. I'm just going to give you really quickly. The legs are made of steel. The tabletop is made of MDF, which I think is pretty decent quality. The size of this tabletop is 47.2 in length and you have 23.6 in depth. This desk can hold up to 176 pounds. All the tools needed to put this together also came with it, which is something that I always love. The handle of the desk is made out of hard plastic but it feels pretty good quality like it's, it's not gonna break so that's all that really matters to me the table does have two grommets on either side to make cable management very easy so if you guys haven't figured it out um, with this desk I wanted to go for like a retro theme just a few accessories this little Bluetooth speaker I got this off of Amazon. It was about 20 bucks I also have a little Ikea lamp then I have a Philips hue smart bulb It's like the industrial looking one that I think also really fits the aesthetic. I chose to do a laptop stand what i like about that is it pretty much gives me extra real estate so i can use two screens there's no cables hanging from my desk and when i go up and down the spine just moves with the desk i think that the cable management is very important you know a nice clean environment makes for a clean thinking creative mind you feels me my experience overall with this desk is two thumbs up you know how when you sit for too long you start to get uncomfortable normally at like my other desk i'll just kind of get up take a break and walk around at this desk i have the option to stand up once i stand the desk up i feel refreshed i just feel better about myself i don't know <laughs> i can't really explain it on the bottom of the desk on the back there are wheels so you can easily lift the top and just roll it around another thing that i have been really enjoying is just the functionality you just click the button and then you lift it whenever i am adjusting to sit or stand you don't really like it's not like it's heavy to lift it's very seamless you just press the button you just slightly add pressure to it to get it to move this desk makes no noise when you move it up or down the number one con it can be a little wobbly when i'm standing at the desk it doesn't bother me enough i don't even really notice it to be honest with you that's just kind of being nitpicky i really think that this desk just looks very clean and minimal another thing that i will mention that i guess could be like a con there is no predetermined heights on this desk you just kind of got to go with it but again it's so simple to move up and down thanks again to odk for sending this desk out to me to review i'm definitely going to be using this desk links will be down in the description for every piece of equipment that we talked about in this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i hope that it gave you guys some insight some inspiration to improve your setup thank you guys so much for checking out this video if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have not already and remember guys never stop creating